Thank you, Malachi. An accused killer on the run for years will be featured on a national TV show. The story of John Blavelt is a long one, tied to the murder of a woman and a teenager's disappearance. Now, this all started in October of 2016 when Catherine Blavelt was found dead in an abandoned Simpsonville home. Her estranged husband, John, was named a suspect. A few weeks later, he fled, and in December of that year, Hannah Thompson, a missing teenager believed to be with Lavelle, was found safe in Oregon. Then, last year, on the two-year anniversary of Catherine's death, another call for help finding her killer. And tonight, law enforcement is still searching for John Blavelt. The stabbing death of 22-year-old Catherine Blavelt is not a cold case, but the trail has run cold for the man Simpsonville police say is responsible, her estranged husband, John Blavelt. I think I can speak for the whole family when I can say it's just been horrible not having her in our lives anymore. Um, <clears throat> Brandy Blackwell says her sister, Katie, had only been married to John for a few months before he became violent. When he threatened her with a gun, she filed charges and left. And he just couldn't let her be gone. He was constantly trying to find ways to pull her back in. Then, on October 24, 2016, in this abandoned home, Katie Blavelt was stabbed to death. Her cousin says when she went missing, John even volunteered to help in the search. Everybody's like, let's go by the abandoned home. And he said, well, if her car's not there, then that means she's not there. Simpsonville police say Blavelle was a suspect from the start. They interviewed him because he had a prior domestic violence charge, but they didn't feel that was enough to charge him with murder. They were waiting on DNA evidence when he skipped town. Two years and four months later, there's new hope of finding this former high-ranking military recruiter. I caught 1,422 of the world's worst fugitives. The Discovery ID channel show In Pursuit with John Walsh is featuring Blavelt later this month, hoping to drum up new leads. Tracy Fant with Freedom Fighters is the one who first called the show after John's car was last spotted in California. As great as the media coverage is here, you know, the push for it being national was, was a must. She didn't have a chance to live her life and spread her love. And, and I really, really hope that this works and somebody sees him and calls. Well, another man who used to live with the Blavelts, Charles Sidney Scott Jr., he was also charged in connection with her murder. He is in jail on other charges. As for Blavelt, he was last seen in the Southwest in November of 2016, but police were told by U.S. Customs that he likely did not cross into Mexico at that time. The case will be featured again on In Pursuit with John Walsh on Wednesday, March 13th on the Discovery ID channel at 9 o'clock.